Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. <laughs> kind of Good morning, Howard. Happy New Year. Thank you, Doodle Doo. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What's going on? Nice. Carl, right. come on. What do you got to say? Are you upset with me, Howard? Why would I be upset with you? I don't know. Why do you think I'm upset with you? Um, I really don't know. So why would you ask that question? I don't know. You don't know because anything. Because you wouldn't pick up the phone. Well, just because I don't pick up the phone every time you call doesn't mean I'm mad at you. The world doesn't revolve around you. I got to tell you, Howard, this guy is like a broad. If you don't call him back in 10 minutes, you get a message going, Hey, Artie, what's the deal? Call me, dude. What, do you don't like me? Yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what do, what's going on? Jeff, we like you. It's just that the whole show doesn't revolve around you, and if I can't get to you, it's, you know. I realize that. Is it mandatory every time he sees your name to pick up the phone? No. So why am I mad at you? You're like a chick. No, You're high Jeff, maintenance. I've been, I've been trying to call since you come back. All right, so. What have you got to say? Nothing. Well, it's going to say Happy New Year and everything. Wow. Can't oh, imagine I, I waited. That. Yeah, I can't imagine I actually put that call off. <laughs> oh, yeah, my mother fell. Oh, your mother fell? Yeah. Well, of course, her son's a complete pain in the ass. Well, it's not like he pushed her down. I didn't push her, dude. Don't you think that woman's worn out? <laughs> this guy, how old are you again? She thinks, thinks she's falling from exhaustion. Me? Huh. Yeah. I'm 37. 37. He still lives at home. They're, now they're in a trailer because he won't work. You know, they're in one of these trailer park homes. So she's uh, ex expected to collapse. I mean, and she lives with him. What did she do, Jeff? She got hurt bad? Broke her hip, yeah. Oh, Well, no. it's in the jeans. He falls all the time, too. <laughs> But when you break your hip, that's bad news. Of course it's bad. Jeff can't take care of her. Yeah. Jeff, maybe you ought to clean up, get a job, and then your mom can get some good medical care. Nah. Forget it. Why would I do that, dude? Why would I do that, dude? <laughs> what are you talking about? Who needs medical care? Hey, I, was... I just want you to pick up the phone. <laughs> I'm trying to help you You're going to help your mom out, or are you going to be a big of pain in the ass? Of course going to help her out. Come on. I'm How? already drinking a beer. I sprung right into action. Was she in the hospital? Yeah. Yep. Oh, no wonder you're uh, on the phone. And she has insurance? No. Yeah, of course not. No, we're paying for it. She's probably hoping one of our son would take care of her, but... Jesus, what a mess. She don't have medical insurance? He's not the only son. No. What happens if she dies? Is the trailer paid for clear so you can live there the rest of your life? Yeah. yeah that's good. No. Get your own place. No. You hey. mean he doesn't inherit the trailer? He does. He's what he's saying. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's good news. Everyone's taking care of him. Hey, Howard. I got my website up. That's good. Your mom's in the hospital and you got the website up. Well, I'm t like I planned it that way. <laughs> Do I look like a planner? <laughs> no, I don't think you plan anything. Exactly. <laughs> I've been working. All right, what's, you want to plug for your website? Go ahead. Anyway, it's jeffthedrunk.net. Dot .net. Oh, you couldn't get dot .com. No one had, no. Someone had Jeff the Drunk. <laughs> what's that, Hardy? Someone had jeffthedrunk.com? No, well, you know, my ex-manager. <laughs> What? He had that, huh? He still has his He's own. got it. He's playing hardball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't believe you broke up with your manager. I can't believe your manager won't give that over. He won't give it to me. What's he doing with it? I don't know. Well, he claims that, oh, I don't have nothing to do with that. But, yeah, I can't give it till. I called up the people. They said, I can't give it till July or something like that. All right. I don't know. All right, well, hey, Happy New Year. And, oh, yeah, one more thing. You know, um, Lee? Crazy Cabby. Yeah. I don't think he's crazy at all. I think he's pulling all our legs. <laughs> all right, thanks. He knows what's up. you got to get up early. Got to get up early in the morning. Yeah. 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 To screw around with Lee. All right, Jeff, okay. thanks. Okay. Jeff the Drunk, everyone, wishing everyone a happy new year and informing us of more misfortune. His yeah, mother's yes, his hip mother is broken. Fell. Sitting on a fat $600 mm -hmm. insurance policy. You know, I'm sure there's so much room in that trailer that yeah. it's, just, it's shocking that she would fall over something. She hit her head on the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Bob fell 
fell and hit her head on our house's steering wheel. <laughs> I guess when she was emptying out the toilets, maybe she slipped and fell. Because Jeff's passed out on the couch. She was emptying the crapper. She was emptying that blue water, the canister that hooks under the toilet. My mother fell in our house and hit her head on the glove compartment. Because, you know, Jeff was really out bad around that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, he lifts his legs maybe when she's <laughs> trying to clean. She tripped over me. I was asleep on the dryer. She was cleaning my bed sores and she fell. <laughs> she was. I'm 37 with bed sores. <laughs> she was trying to pull down the fold away bed and she slipped. No, that's the kitchen table. She was oh, well, to slash kitchen I mean. table. <laughs> bed slash kitchen table. <laughs> my mother tripped running an extension cord to plug in our house. <laughs> Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Hello? Oh. Oh. Yes? What's up? Hey, dude, come on. You can, What's you got, up? You gotta be, you can't be serious. Sorry. Is this hey, I was, Yeah. I, I'm moving. Really? Yep. Where to? What country? <laughs> to a trailer park. Oh. Oh. It's gotten that bad. I can't believe a guy who doesn't work and drinks all day is moving to a trailer park. Yeah. yeah what's up with that? What's this guy yeah. coming to? How is it that a guy <laughs> you mean who, a who is such a good-natured guy, walks around in a big smelly cowboy hat all day, has a horrible uh, presence, doesn't clean himself up. Hand stamper at a pool. Right. Then loses, loses that. Loses that job. Repeatedly gets arrested for DUIs. <laughs> who doesn't go to work. If that guy's got to go to a trailer park, what's wrong with this country? <laughs> it's time for a change in the administration. Obviously, this administration is messing up. Right. Well, he slipped through the safety net. Now, what do you mean? Did you buy a trailer park home? Yeah. Oh, then that's good. Yeah. So you sold your house, your mom's house. Yeah, my uh, mom sold it. Right. And your mom probably couldn't afford to live where she was anymore. She said, well, you know what we'll do? We'll sell the house, make some money, and put the, some of the money in the trailer park house and then we'll have money left over to live right she yeah. looked at her son and said we belong in a trailer <laughs> Jeez. and did you ever think to say to your mother mom i'll get a job i'll get a job don't sell the house this is the house you love and this is the house you grew up with no well she she really can't live here why not because, because you're there <laughs> <laughs> because she can't why can't she live there because she, she can't walk around or it's like uneven. She can't really walk around the house at all. Uh, you can't live. Over. My name I got to move to a trailer park. <laughs> Why don't you people care about it? I got to move to a trailer park. So really, the trailer park is better. And it's both. Did you, you ever see those trailer park homes? <laughs> <laughs> there ain't a lot of living space in there. Uh, oh, no. You're getting a double wide, though, aren't you? We're getting, um... 70 footer. Yeah, see? Sweet. 70 whole feet, huh? 70 footer. You can really spread out in there. I guess your mom will probably lose track of you in there. You'll take the oh, front, yeah. you'll take the back. You won't know each I other's home. One end and she's at the other end. It's my job to unplug our house every night. She's calling Jeff on the phone. Jeff, are you here? Jeff. We're going to have to put in an intercom. It's my job to em empty the crapper. Yeah, what's the deal? Do you have, like, oh. one of those port -a sand things attached to it? Like, you have to empty it out? No. Where does it go? That's what they do. There's no cesspool. Oh, I don't know. You gotta empty it. I never lived in one before. It's like being know. a dog. Like, after you, after, you bow, after you move your bowels, you gotta pick it up with a bag. You got a pooper scooper. <laughs> it's an aluminum mansion. <laughs> uh, it's a mansion on wheels. So you say you have a 70 footer. What about your neighbors? What what kind of footage do they have? Oh, I really don't know. Those losers, 40 tops. <laughs> Did you get a nice plot? <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? You hook up. It's a home that's hooked up to. It's not a mobile home. It's not one of those things you can drive away in. No. No, that, that's like a luxury RV. You you've got one of those things where it's kind of standing there and there's a there's a bunch of tin like aluminum cans next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. But they still keep the axle and the wheels, don't they? So you could go. If you could <laughs> yeah, you could. You could go. Yeah. Today a trailer, someday a little bagel. So how many bedrooms in this thing? Three. Oh. And, uh... <laughs> Three bedrooms, two full beds. 
Wow, look at that. A living room. You haven't taken two large. full baths in 20 years. you got to understand, they crammed that into 70 feet. But, yeah, <laughs> does it have, a, like, the fold-up table? Because, the, you know, the kitchen and the living room sort of, like, are the same. Yeah, you got an attached, you got an attached fold-up table? No. Oh, that's too bad. Can save some space there. <laughs> I got three beds for when I have two chicks over. Hey, uh, Jeff, I hope there's room for your books, your book collection somewhere. <laughs> yeah, me too. Books are like kryptonite. <laughs> books are like kryptonite to color. But what about if Jeff brings a girl home? How's he going to sneak her past? I don't, I don't you know what? That ain't going to happen. <laughs> I don't think that scenario has been considered. <laughs> Baby, the be quiet. Door, My though. mom's over there. And <laughs> I've got a boil on my ass. Oh, you don't want to wake up my mom. <laughs> Why'd you have to leave your old house? It was uneven. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. Well, yeah, I don't even understand what that means. You know what that means. My mother to walk on. She can't walk on it because it's uneven? Because, it's, <laughs> you know, it's like lumpy and stuff. It's you know, lumpy. It. If this trailer is <laughs> rocking, don't travel. come a knocking. <laughs> so the floor was lumpy and you have to leave? <laughs> no. Well, we had to leave, honey. No, Lumpy floor. floor. I'm talking about the ground. So, how much money did you get for your old house? Eighty-five. So you took the Hundred? eighty-five, and what did you have to pay for the? No, you dumbass. Thousand. Eighty-five thousand. Yeah. Well, you're sitting like a king now. And how much does it cost for the new home, the like trailer? Thirty, thirty something. Oh, oh so my goodness, you're in the money. So you got fifty grand to live on. Dumbass. Yeah, what are you going to do with the money? I don't know. It's not mine. I... You'll find a way to get your hands on it. Two words, mustache ride. Are you kicking in some of your SSI to help with the bill? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm helping. You know what she drinks? That's his whole SSI check. <laughs> right. He doesn't charge her for the booze. Yeah, it's that, back, poor, that poor mother. It's back to domestic beers. <laughs> All right. I'm only drinking Budweiser. I got, a, I got an issue with Caro. What's that? I gave him my mint four rows behind third Yankee. They were yeah. sweet. And someone told me you sold them and didn't go to the game. Oh, bull only. I went. A friend of mine said he saw you walking away from the stadium at about 10 to 7. Already baloney. I was there, dude. All right. I swear to God. I believe you. You saw the whole game? I saw it. Well, not all of it. Oh. I saw it. Okay, I was going about maybe... That was the night they clinched. Why would you leave early? No, I didn't leave early. I didn't listen. Bitch. I went out. <laughs> I went out. I was starving. Oh. The guy says, hey, Jeff, you want a beer? I said, yeah, sir. I said, I'd rather have a hot dog. He's like, well, I'll buy you one of those, too. So we had a beer and a hot dog. He said, oh, can I, can I introduce you to some of my buddies? I said, sir. So I went walking through the crowd. You didn't have enough money for a beer and a hot dog? You're sitting in Artie's mint seat? <laughs> Wait a minute. Of course Wait, he does. And then went out, you walked through the crowd and couldn't find your way back? No, I found my way back. He's saying I missed some of the game. I got to the seat just as Bertie Williams hit the home run. Just you know what I would love? You missed most of the game. I would love to like have a a separate channel where like you could have the Yankee game yeah. on the radio, but you let him be the announcer. <laughs> Oh, you listen? Wait, Bernie Williams. The Yankees are bringing you Mariano the pitch. <laughs> no, mostly he's going out to get beer and hot dogs. Here's the two two pitch to Chef Street. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Darren Jeter. Nice. All right, man. Good luck with that new home. Oh, well, call yeah. us from the new house. Right. Yeah, yeah give I'll us a call. Yeah, you know, are you going to move yourself, or are you going to have a moving company handle things? Um, I think we're going to... I'm not going to move anything, but I think, you know, my brothers and sisters will. I missed Jorge Posada's homer. I was in the crapper. But wait a minute, Jeff. There's a lot of stuff in a house that you can't move into the So you guys having a yard sale? I think it's a fresh start. <laughs> um... Let's no. sell our old couch. I, I, who's the lucky couple I got to get that? I think I'm probably going to play fumigated. Yeah, who, who needs that couch? <laughs> no one's selling my bumper pool table. <laughs> You're probably not bringing a lot of stuff with you. You're starting fresh, right? Yeah, bro. Fresh. <laughs> I think the, the trailer is fully furnished, isn't it? Does Jeff have anything of value? Like, I mean, is there anything he values personally that he'd have to bring with him to the new yeah, house? Pictures. Pictures. I have awesome pictures. 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 All right, dude. Autographs. 
What pictures? Autographs, okay. Oh. I'll, bring a goal, I'll bring a goal by pictures, Tom Seaver. <laughs> All right, uh, and Jeff, here's uh, $500. Oh, thank you, Howard. An Xbox game system and the Leisure Suit Larry Magna Cum Laude video game. Help Larry learn it's not who you impress, but who you undress on Xbox, PS2, and PC today. It's Maybe 500. that'll help ease the move. Yeah, right. it's 500 bucks. Get another house. <laughs> right, hold on. Okay, thanks. I can buy a tire for the trailer. Yeah, you get your own double wide. We'll help him out. Give him five hundred. That's nice. That poor mother. Oh. We got to take a break. We will be back right after these words.